While we are here in Miami, and while we enjoy the peace and the calm and the food, there are Muslims in the Muslim world who are suffering. It is becoming a very, very serious situation. And I had the opportunity to speak to some of the Muslims coming from uh, the areas in the Muslim world and found out that what is happening on the ground in many parts of the Muslim world is very much different than what comes over the media. In Kashmir, today there are people who are dying. There are people being arrested. Women are being raped. In Palestine now, although it appears to be a situation where leadership is moving toward peace, on the ground level, there are, there are people being arrested. There are people tortured in prisons. The, 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 the pain of the people in Gaza has not been lifted. It's a worse situation than it was five years ago. But what you get in the media in many cases is something totally different. But one of the most bizarre cases that I found out about recently is the case of Algeria. And the case of Algeria, Al Jazair, and there are many of us who are reading the papers constantly and feeling disgusted at the murders, or what we are getting from the press there, of these murders of women and children being uh, killed and their throats slit. Something which is terrible. Hundreds of people being just bludgeoned to death in, 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 in these villages. And I had the opportunity to speak to some of the brothers from Algeria who, who have contacts on the ground, <coughs> what is actually happening in Algeria itself. And they showed me that for the most part, the areas where people are being punished, are being killed, are areas that support the Islamic movement. And this was, this was confirmed to me in the Toronto Star when they had a, a very big picture of a Muslim woman who was crying and, and it said that she is from the village of Bin Talha. And in this village, 200 people had been killed, but Bin Talha is known to be a village where they support the Islamic movement. Then it said, however, it is not clear who carried out this slaughter. It is probably Islamic fundamentalists. Now, how are you going to slaughter people when these people support you? And this is happening over and over again. And so we are recognizing that people are being killed. Families supporting the Islamic movement are being killed, maimed, terrorized and then their children who may be trying to stand up for Islam are being blamed for the slaughter. And this is why Allah tells us, فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ اِفْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا Who is more unjust than somebody who tells a lie on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on people who are trying to be decent and trying to, to, to stand up for their rights in that country. We also recognize the strategic importance of Algeria. And those who have studied colonialism recognize that over a million people died in Algeria standing up against the French. And that it was, it was an example for other nations. And that if something happens in Algeria, if Islam is established in Algeria, inshallah, that no doubt it would have a great effect upon the whole of the Muslim world.